Hey everyone, welcome to my take three. Today we're going to be looking at the new iOS 18.1 beta release. Uh, it's beta one at the moment uh, with the new Apple intelligence feature, which is really exciting. But before we get to the video, um, I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone uh, for the uh, support. Basically, if anyone wants to hear my journey of why I wanted to start off YouTube, just leave it down in the comments below um, if you want me to make a video um, about that. Uh, I'll be happy to, um, but yeah. Uh, let's get to the video. So a quick rundown of the devices that can use Apple intelligence. Anything that is basically well, with the iPhone side of things, you're limited to the iPhone 15 Pro or the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So even if you've just got the latest iPhone 15, you won't be able to uh, use Apple intelligence. Um, any iPad or Mac that runs uh, the M1 or later, you'll be able to um, use Apple intelligence. Um, and the reason why is because you need a, a minimum of eight gigabytes of RAM to use it. So all of the iPads and Macs that have the M1 and later already have eight gigabytes and iPhones, the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max are the first iPhones, iPhones to have um, the eight gigabytes of RAM. The other thing as well is if you live in the EU or China, you won't be able to use Apple intelligence right now, but don't worry, because there is a workaround um, for this uh, that I've uh, tried on my iPhone and it works. Uh, so I'll explain that in more detail. Uh, but before we dive in, um, a few features that aren't going to be available with this are Image Playground, where you can create your Gemojis, where you can type things like, you know, a T-Rex on a, on a surfboard and it will just create that image. Uh, also, ChatGPT integration isn't in at the moment as well. Uh, we're obviously going to be going through all the stuff that is in this first beta one release. If we look at the build number, so we go to about, and you'll see it's 22B5007P. The letters at the end indicate how far in the uh, beta cycle this version is. So when it gets to A, that means that it's basically practically ready to go. Uh, so as you can see, we're quite a long way off. I'm going to probably predict two to three months before this is actually going to be released um, because it's an 18.1 release. But yeah. Let's get to uh, how you can actually get Apple intelligence if you're living in the EU. So to begin, uh, you do, you're you going to want to go to uh, the settings page and then you want to go to general and then scroll to language and region. So in here, you want to select your region to be the United States. Uh, so change that to US. So this will take a few seconds to change the region on here. Once it's changed the region, you can then see it's obviously changed. It might change some of the uh, other options below. It doesn't matter with these. You can change this. So if you prefer using Fahrenheit or you prefer you know, your date format. So let's use the UK date format here. Uh, you can change that. That's no problem. So the main thing is that your region is United States. The language is uh, US. And then you're going to want to scroll to um, the Apple intelligence and Siri option. And you're going to want to change the language to United States. So once that's done, then you're ready to use Apple Intelligence. So the first thing we're going to show you here is uh, how Safari can summarize articles. So we go into Safari here. We just go to um, the Olympics because they're on at the moment. So as you can see, this is an article. It's a very long article. Um, there's two options here. So there's listen to page. So if you tap that, then it will read out the page for you. But then if you go to show reader, this will bring up the reader option. Then you notice up here, it has the little Apple intelligence symbol and it says summarize. So if I tap on this, it will now summarize that whole article for me. Uh, it takes a few seconds to do it. So once it's done it, it will just pop up with this box here. Um, this is a summary of the whole article. If you close this, you're not gonna see the Apple intelligence symbol anymore because it's already uh, summarized it. And yeah, you can just get a quick um, overview of that article. You can also use uh, Apple Intelligence. So let's say, for example, you want to you know, get it to you know, proofread or rewrite an article so it's more digestible or more understandable. So you can rewrite and it will rewrite that article um, so you can obviously understand it or, or whatever you want to do with it. You can even get the key points for the article as well. So this will give you key points. So if I wanted to, I could just select the whole article. Um, so I'm not going to do the whole article here. I'll just do these couple of paragraphs. 
go writing tool and I can get a summary of just those two paragraphs um, or I can even get just the key points of the article as well. Uh, so let's copy this and I'm going to go to the mail app. So if I go to compose here and then I just paste this in, this is also available uh, here as well. If you want to, so let's say I want to select all, uh, tap on that, go to writing tool, and then I can make it sound more professional. So I'll rewrite that and make it professional. I can check what the original was like and then see if I prefer the original or I prefer what um, Apple intelligence has done, or I can retry it. If I don't like what it came up with, then I can just retry uh, and I can revert back as well to that previous option. If I tap on here as well, I can also uh, get a concise version. So there you go. So that's shortened that professional uh, version and made it a bit more concise. Uh, again, I can also make that a friendly um, option as well. So it's really good. It's not perfect. Obviously we're on a beta one version, so there's a long way to go, but pretty good for what it is so far. Um, the next thing we're going to look at is the focus mode. So you'll see on the focus mode here, you've got reduce interruptions with the Apple intelligence icon there. So if I tap on here, um, these bottom three options, uh, or explanations, uh, they are available generally throughout the focus um, mode function. But the top one here is that it uses uh, device intelligence to reduce interruptions, uh, analyzes the contents um, of notifications and only interrupts you uh, with those uh, that are deemed to be important. So if you contact someone regularly or there's an app that you use regularly, it will give you those notifications. Uh, so if you could customize, you can then see Apple intelligence uh, breakthrough is silenced. This option is available on all the focus um, modes. So if you want to have that on any other focus mode, you can have that. Um, if there is one that you want to have specific uh, notifications coming through and you don't want Apple Intelligence to do that, you just have to leave that off. Um, so that's Apple Intelligence within um, focus mode. With phone call recording, you can record your call. So on the top left corner, you'll see a record button when you're in the call. Uh, you tap that, it will let both parties know that you're recording and then it will record it straight into notes. So this is what it looks like when um, you have your call, basically. Uh, so if I tap on it, you'll get a rundown of, uh, you can even get a summary of what happened as well. So you get a rundown of the conversation. Now the rundown of the conversation isn't perfect because it doesn't complete the sentences all the time. Uh, it's, so it's, it's, it's a hit and miss. Uh, you can also search through the call as well. And if I play here. So that's basically some of the call uh, there. Uh, you can also get a summary of the call as well. So it will basically give you a summary of what happened during the call. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty cool, pretty useful. Um, I could see this being a very popular uh, feature that will be used. The final thing as well is Siri itself. So what does Siri actually sound like? And what does, <laughs> accidentally activated it there. And how is it more like in terms of, is it more contextually aware? So let's try that out. What is the weather like today? Should be sunny today. What about on Sunday? Looks like it will be cloudy on Sunday. What does my day look like on that day? There's nothing scheduled on Sunday. Can you tell me a bedtime story? Up above, in outer space, among all the stars watching over us, there was a lonely little star named Stella. Can you sing me a bedtime lullaby? I'd rather leave that to the professionals. So as you can see, Siri's not perfect, but it's getting better. There are a lot of elements in there. Um, when I've used it previously, where it shows kind of the old Siri in terms of like, uh, you know, sending you to Safari to answer a question, for example. Um, but I'm looking forward to see how the new features look and you know how Siri improves over the over the betas that are going to happen over the next couple of months. So yeah, that's a that's the demo of 18.1. Um, I'm really excited about it. Let me know if you're excited about it in the comments down below. 
and uh, please like subscribe and see you next time